Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to uh, Let's Play Assassin's Creed Origins. Uh, last time we had just arrived in Siwa. Um, and I think we picked up some side quests, but we didn't do any. So uh, let's get going. Him lined up. All right, let's get this guy. Come here, you. All right, let's see. Um, can I get my bearings? Oh, I misremembered. We did do some side quests. Yeah, so we had um, almost completed... Uh, well, we completed most of the area here in Siwa. Um, and we looked at but didn't get this quest by X Promise. This is a quest which uh, spans the entire map. So what I want to do first is... I want to clear some locations around Siwa, around this area. There are, um, we can complete a lot of them, but uh, this uh, location, Halma Point, is, uh, uh, they contain bandits which are way, uh, which we are way over, under leveled for. So I think I first want to get, I want to get this viewpoint. <clears throat> it's kind of a, long trek and a long climb but oh here we're going straight into a, an enemy camp don't want that yeah so as you can see it's pretty high up but we're up for it aren't we <clears throat> yes, I remember now we did that side quest um, rescuing the kid Chancera from uh, from the tomb. So let's keep going. Yeah, so I try to find uh, lootables and loot as much as I can, at least in the beginning, to get crafting materials and money. Oh, 
So let's just get to climbing. <clears throat> I believe there are some lootables up there, yes there are. So let's just uh, use the rope. Uh, that sound you just heard is uh, the um, wall which represents the edge of the simulation. And if we go outside it we get desynchronized, which basically means we have to restart from the latest checkpoint. But we'll make sure not to touch it. Can I jump down there? I can try. Yeah. That was indeed possible. Yeah, I was gonna say, I think we are able to get this viewpoint this early in the game. So as I mentioned last time, um, you can't leave Siwa. Uh, this is sort of the beginning tutorial area. Uh, we can't leave here yet, but in due time. Yeah, so we have uh, leveled up a little bit. The uh, quest for killing Maduna Moon is um, level 5, I think, and we're currently level 6, so... But I think we'll be able to level up to level 7, at least, before tangling with him. He's actually pretty powerful. Nothing we can't handle, but this is nightmare mode, so we gotta be a bit careful. I guess I could show you guys what happens if we go outside, just for the hell of it. Now I believe there is a ledge we can catch over here. Yes, there is. Yeah, so as you see, we basically just restart. Nothing to it. Huh, actually, that helped me a little bit. I'm uh, down again. <laughs> Wouldn't you know? So let's go explore Halma Point. This will become uh, important a little bit later in the story. Enemy level. Numbers above enemies indicate their difficulty. Red Skull indicates you should not try this. I wonder if I can get the treasure though. That way I won't have to come back here later. What? <laughs> can I be sneaky? <laughs> Whoop! Yeah, so no point at all trying to fight these guys. But there's carbon crystal in here. That's always... Always useful. So let's see... Nothing more, I think. Well, let's get out of here. So we got another ability point for leveling up. Now what do I want? Charge heavy attack, that's pretty useful early in the game. Uh, overpower ultra, yeah I might get this one. I would like 
the uh, passive buffs which give me XP. So I guess that would be this one for getting headshots. Yeah, I'll get this. As I said the first time, I will eventually get not everything, but mostly everything, at least everything I do need. So the order isn't that important, but uh, the XP giving or the uh, passive buffs are, of course, best to get early. Now let's go see what else we can find. We did level up though to level 7. We did level up to level 7 and I don't think there's enough here to do to uh, level up once more to level 8 so... Yeah, we'll just do the uh, surrounding locations and then go tackle Maduna Moon. Hello, Lulu Lulu. How are you? Gotta pay attention more. Uh -huh. See, even these, <clears throat> even these level one, or uh, yeah, there's level two animals. They're uh, quite difficult. Yeah, let's actually um, upgrade some gear. Health, I will hold off on that, I think. Yeah, this mount's really cool. Um, it's called Fangs, and it's part of um, uh, part of a. Uh, sorry, gotta focus here. I'm doing fine, thanks for asking. Um, yeah, so Fangs is, I believe, part of the Cobra pack, <coughs> which also gives you um, a different outfit. So I have a lot of outfits. I think I want to use Bayek's outfit in the beginning for story purposes, but um, yeah, I believe, which is it? This one, yeah. I think this is also part of the... Desert Cobra pack. So yeah, we get a nice looking uh, snake hood. You know, actually I'll just upgrade the health or the breastplate just to get rid of the uh, icon. <laughs> right, so we gotta find the uh, alpha. Alpha Ibex. No problem. So I don't believe there's any locations over in this eastern part of Siwa. <clears throat> Uh, just, I guess, these two locations. Do you like Assassin's Creed, Lululul? Should I call you Lululul, or... How do you say it? Leo. <clears throat> Hello, Leo. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, this game is one of my favorites in the uh, series. It's like uh, I do like the um, the older games as well, especially the Ezio trilogy. But uh, there's something about this game's atmosphere that I really like. <clears throat> To the Oracle Maduna Moon, I, Zezemunek, the Nomad shall be your eyes. I pray that you are in good health night and day, and I always make obeisance before you. I am still spying. I dare to hope that the cowards who fled Siwa without paying tributes to you shall be revealed then caught. I beg you to send hunters to... Excuse me. You got the game from your friend ND, loved it, got hooked on it. Yeah, yeah, this is a really good one. Now, as I was saying before I was so rudely interrupted, I beg you to send hunters to get rid of beasts near my camp. They are a nuisance. I pray every day that the true oracle will bring good harvests and joy to all of our great Siwa. May a moon walk with us all. Okie dokie, that's interesting. So apparently this hunter was a uh, an informant for uh, Medina Moon. Do I swim across or do I take my mount around? Ah, it's too. Uh, too long to go around. Let's go for a swim. Yeah, let me get a waypoint. Oh, my direction wasn't too off. Yeah, right now I've got um, <clears throat> got two saves for this game. Th this one that I'm streaming from, and another save where I'm almost finished with my second New Game Plus run. Uh, I am trying to farm Hecka chests to get um, all the items you can buy from the store. And also, I'm a little bit curious how far you can upgrade your character. So, I could just Google it, but uh, <laughs> I love this game so much, I, I don't mind playing it. Gotcha. Okay, look, I think this is it. Oh yeah, I forgot. Uh, Buy X Promise. Let's just pick up this quest. Let's pick up this quest and let's go handle our first target, Maduna Moon. We are two levels above, so it should be fine.
sun. You wanted the stars. The stone circles show the gods' places in the sky. Your grandfather once told me they also show our place in the world. I'm going to find every stone circle. The Sphinx and the pyramids too. And I'll find my place. And you will have them. Alright, so this quest is uh, by X Promise. A chance encounter with an ancient and enigmatic stone circle triggers memories from by X past. He sets out to fulfill a forgotten promise made to his son. Bayek discovers one of Egypt's enigmatic stone circles and relives memories of a promise he made to his son. He sets out to visit all 12 of the circles dedicated to ancient gods and their constellations. His personal pilgrimage unexpectedly opens the way to a long hidden secret in the heart of Egypt. Find and interact with the stone circles in Egypt. So we have found 0 of 12. So let's go. Yeah, I like to let these conversations play out. King of gods, divided in two forms, as the great goddess of invisibility, Amunet, and master of the wind. He upholds justice, lord of the shadows and the silence. He comes at the voice of the poor. He hears the confessions of the humble and forgives them. Ah, moon. Okay. Uh, those who have played this game before or uh, know a little bit about Assassin's Creed lore, they might uh, remember the name Amunet. I won't spoil anything, but keep that in mind. The Lord of Invisibility. All right, 11 more stone circles to find, but uh, first of all, now we are indeed ready to uh, do the false oracle quest and get rid of Amun, um, Adu, ha, Amun Adun, um, Medun Amun, <laughs> difficult. So I'll try to pronounce the Egyptian words and names uh, as best I can, but uh, of course I'm not Egyptian. Oh, hello. These people. So uh, 
Yeah, even at the, even if I'm level seven and these guys are level one, the, it's uh, a difficult fight in uh, nightmare mode. Oops, sorry. <clears throat> yeah, let's loot what we can. All right, our first uh, biggish location. Uh, let me check. I didn't unlock the uh, meditate uh, ability. Maybe I should have. Uh, that way I could have switched to nighttime and had an easier time of infiltrating this place. But no matter. How far am I away from leveling? Okay, quite a while. So seeing as I'm pretty low level and uh, I don't have a lot of tools and things, I will uh, try to circle around the location, picking off targets one by one. I really don't want to get into big uh, fights. I'll just tag a few of these people. And uh, yeah, let's see if we can infiltrate. a guard. Let's not attract his attention, shall we? Or actually, let's attract his, uh, his attention by whistling. Is anyone there? If I wasn't a priest, I'd bash in all your skulls. Are you alright? <laughs> there are other priests taken. Four of them. Stay hidden until you can slip out of the temple. So that gave us another quest. Prisoners in the temple. Bayek hears the shouts of imprisoned priests and investigates. Bayek discovers that priests are being held against their will inside the temple of Amun. So this is a small little uh, side mission, side quest. Let's get them all marked on our map. I think that was all. Find and rescue the priests in the Temple of Amun. One out of five. So let's actually try to do that first before we do the uh, main assassination. Ah, did not mean to do that. So my scanning ability with Sidu is uh, still a little bit, um, how do you say, his perception isn't as good, but we'll increase that as we uh, uh, unlock viewpoints, so we just have to be a little bit careful going around. I'm just trying to see if I missed any enemies. That way I won't be too surprised. Yeah, like, hap like happened there. <laughs> I can probably escape this guy. Probably. Oh, he's coming over here. Oh no. Oh, that was lucky. <laughs> I 
Is he coming over here or have we got to sneak around him? Try to be a little more careful this time. Oh, I thought he was going to drag him into the bushes. No worries. And let's bum rush this guy. Easy peasy. To the faithful, please remember to bring the valuable offerings to the main hall of the temple. They have been left out and about too often. Okie dokie. So, I think Maduna Moon is somewhere in here, I think he patrols. Back and forth here. Oh well, we have him. Uh, yeah, we have him marked on the other quest, of course. <clears throat> I think we will explore inside the main temple compound when we have uh, cleared all of this. Um, yeah, I remember now. Last time we uh, got, I think his name was Gupta, out of the uh, his cell in this area. But we didn't loot, I think. Let's just check. Being careful while we do so. So let's clear out the uh, sort of backstage er area here. Yeah, when Sino's perception is uh, this low, uh, it's often um, helpful to manually look for enemies and tag them as you find them. So. Being careful to loot, as always. Yeah, let's do these uh, few little houses here. Hey, what? You saw nothing. You think you saw something. You hear that? Oh, there's another guy. Understood. Can I do this stealthily? I think I... Oh, haha. <laughs> yep, the enemies here are uh, very alert. Yeah, this was what I wanted to avoid. <clears throat> anyway, onwards. Let's be a little bit extra careful here. 
not to uh, attract attention. Yeah, I say. <laughs> <clears throat> I think I'll switch my bow to my predator bow. How will this fare? Oh, this is excellent. I can still one shot them with the headshot at least. Ooh. Didn't tag you. Okay, hold on. Ooh, let me be quick. Yes. Quit squirming around. You'll be fine. I think we did a half decent job of clearing out this um, back area. Now let's uh, finish off the rest of the perimeter. Oh, someone is here. Let's deal with those guys right quick. Oh, dangerous. <laughs> Practice my parry skills. All right, Maduna Moon is in the area. How am I doing with my level? Okay, yeah, maybe I can level up to level eight before before tackling Maduna Moon. Maybe. I doubt it, but let us try. Yeah, there's Maduna Moon, I think. So let's avoid him. Yeah, I will do a little bit more looting when I'm done dealing with all the enemies. Looks like that guy's alone. So we can maybe deal with him. Hopefully. I am dying of thirst. Please. You can hold out for a while longer. While I loot these things. Bayek, they will kill you if they find you. Well, no thank you. How rude. <laughs> Here's a reminder of your daily duties in the temple. One. Break the seal leading to the statue of Amun. Two, light the torch to walk to Amun. Three, light incense around the moon and say a prayer to him. Four, wash the statue of Amun. Five, place new clothing and jewels on the statue as well as offerings. 
Uh, six, when the day has ended, seep away your footprints as you leave and replace the seal. As long as you follow these rules, a moon will not be angered. The gods be with you, priest. Haha, <laughs> you fun funk. Something like that. Anyway. Is he walking over here? Yes, he is. Oh. So uh, when you don't have the various assassins uh, tools you need, um, it's very difficult to deal with detection, but uh, we'll get the um, sleep darts soon, soon enough, and then uh, sneaking around will be much easier. So we have almost cleared the perimeter. Let's be a little bit more careful here. I think we can get this guy... Oh yeah, we can jump to the tree. Bayek, is that really you? Thank the gods. We must stop this madness. Hide here until you can get out without being seen. For the grace of our moon. Can I get him? That's all of them. Oh. Ah. Oh yeah, look at that. We leveled up. Target is in my range. Now let me see. Okay, I'm only two ability points away from the sleep darts. I do want those and I do want dawn and dusk. So let's get that first. And it looks like this guy will be all by himself. Let's go. There we go. <laughs> yeah, the enemies don't like uh, dead bodies in their camp, so they carry them to one place, which is kind of funny. <laughs> Yeah, it's night time now. That's handy. Then some of the guards will go to sleep and make our job a little bit easier. What? How did he see me? I refuse to believe it. <laughs> All right. Let's have a fight. Oh, this is a Maduna Moon. Alright, why not? Let's go. Actually, let's spare him for a little while. Let's get rid of his guards. Uh, actually, let me just complete this area. I think the um, cutscene which triggers after we kill him sends us outside the camp, so... Just to save ourselves some backtracking. Oops. There we go. You'll live for another day, Maduna Moon. While we slip away. If we can, come on, my bike. Ok, 
Can we make this? Yes, we can. Yeah, we read this, I think, didn't we? Yeah. Instructions for uh, cleaning and purifying the temple and whatnot. Didn't miss anything down here, I don't think. Yeah, just let's make sure to stay away from Maduna Moon. Oh. Hey, hey. hey, what? <laughs> what? Ah, Nothing. come on. What? Beneath a moon, the power of the gods has been stored in stone, carved by great hands. The first gods and the last gods. He who holds this trapped fire can claim the souls of a thousand. Those who came before gave us these stones, gave us the perfect light wrapped in eternity. Nut and Geb are wed in this chamber. All beasts bow, all beasts bow, all are slaves inside the womb of this creation. The all-creating, all-knowing live inside these pieces. So those who came before, that's an interesting uh, reference, um, which we will learn more about. And if you've played uh, any of the games in this series, you will definitely know who that's referring to. All right, we have explored the uh, perimeter and uh, most of the uh, sort of inside of this um, temple. So let's go ahead and enter the uh, main temple now. Making sure to uh, get the guys on the way. Did we read this? I think we did. Let's check real quick. Yep. All right, into the temple we go. Oh, that was a detour. Let's actually explore a little bit down here. We will get here uh, later, but just let's see what's what in here. Now these markings are kind of strange. Uh, we will come to learn more about this uh, sealed chamber, but we can't do anything about it right now. So let's just keep going. <coughs> Can we get this guy? Ah. I stumbled a little bit. Um, that's sort of a little bit of an annoying feature of this game, although uh, if you're really good you can avoid those kinds of things. You can't initiate an assassination if you're um, stumbling uh, off the surface, but uh, if you play precisely, you can avoid that, so I'll just show you what I mean. If I just keep going uh, off, he will jump off. But if I just go a little bit like, like this, we can uh, avoid falling down, but then we can't assassinate. So, uh, those who really know this game, they are keenly aware of this uh, 
feature, you might call it, or bug, I don't know. I think it makes sense in a way. I, I don't think the developers intended it, but um, if you think about it, it sort of makes sense. You're not, you're concentrating on regaining your balance, so uh, you don't have enough concentration left, in a way, to, to um, also take someone down. All right, um, let's get Maduna Moon. He went to sleep. <laughs> he went to sleep knowing uh, there's an assassin in his camp who took out all his guards and uh, gravely wounded himself and he chooses to go to sleep. That's interesting. So let's go kill him. wants the belt of an ibex stag for the ceremony. You will stand next to the pharaoh, won't you, Bayer? You're the magi. When I'm magi, I'll stand next to the pharaoh. You... Notice here he uh, has his uh, magi badge and he's missing his uh, names from his arm. You'll never be magi. They're too scared. That's not true. What about the hyena kid? Shut up. Enough, you two. The sand is so hot on my feet. Sometimes they light on fire. It makes you faster. <laughs> I want my feet to light on fire. Yeah, so we still don't quite know why Bayek, are, um, Bayek is hunting these guys, but uh, all will soon be revealed in due time. is around here. We don't want just any stag. We want the pack leader. Which one is he? Big. Do what I do. Hey, this is my favorite part. Stay long. They will spot us unless we become like our moon, the god of hiddenness. Yes, Papa. We are the hidden one. See? My eyes and hand are in line with the arrow. That is the only way to shoot true. I wish I could put a hundred arrows on this bow. Ah! Oh no! I scared them! 
Popo! He's running away! Patience, my boy. We will get him. Ah! Oh no! I... Hit! Did you hurt him? A clean shot to the heart. Hardly hurts at all. Let us get that belt. We will take this to the Oracle before it gets dark. One day, I want to shoot an arrow through the sun. <laughs> you can. Your arrow will have to become Senu. Imagine. All my arrows are Senu. Then I'll be able to hunt anything. Come on now. You said you'd like to see the Pharaoh up close. Yeah. What if you stand with me by his side? Can I do that? As my son and the future Magi, yes. Papo, what is a Magi really? The first Magi was a protector of the Pharaoh. But now, it means you must protect all the people of Egypt. Not just protect them, but work for their well-being. Oh, Papo, I'm so excited to be Magi one day. You know all the secrets of Siwa. What if I never grow up to be a Magi? Ah, of course you will. You are my son. But I get scared. I try to be brave. But sometimes it's hard. Hold on. Let's go this way. When I was about your age. Sometimes I got scared too. Your grandfather was a well-known Magi. And he wanted me to bring honor to the family when I succeeded him. Yeah? One day, he took me up this way. At the top, he said something to me. A single word. <laughs> it changed me. One word? I got over my fear. I knew I could do anything I needed to. What did he say? I will tell you once we are there. What did your father say? Jump. Don't think so long. Jump. Yes, Papa. Trust me, you can. I do. I will. Now jump then. Come back. You're not ready. I can do it, Papa. I can. Ah! Oh, shut up, you filthy little shit. Help! Help me! That's Shanjira. I said shut up. Run home to your mother. Shanjira will be fine. I will take care of it. Magi Bayek! Go. Now. I'm scared. I don't want to go home alone. Oh, Hemu, just do what I say. Please. Go! Magi Bayek! I'm indeed Magi here. Who summons me? Sheath your weapon and follow me. You said you only wanted to talk to him! Who are you to give commands to me? You piece of shit. We don't have time to piss away. So, um, we can fight for a little bit here, but uh, there's re really no point. We will die.
make a sound that you're dead. What took you so long? Didn't want to be seen, sir. Kept to the shadows. At the ready. I love this music. We are pleased you have joined us, Benjai. It is of great importance that we gain access to the vault. The temple priests stubbornly refuse to assist us. You are perhaps reluctant out of loyalty I to the Oracle. We have someone to help convince you what otherwise. Quiet! At the ready. Not you again. Come along! At the ready. Hello, brother. This way! All right, let's see where he's leading us. Getting impatient. Forward. Obviously they want to get access to the vault in here. isn't open when we return. We'll never see him again. Papa! I did what you said, but... Ah, it's all right, son. No? Papa, I can get it to you. But no! Come on, don't! They're going to hurt us. This foolish waste of time! Take your time. Tell us! So, I, I, I don't know. We must go now. I will cut the heart from the boy. No, no, wait, 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 wait. He Stop. will never know the afterlife. No, no, no. I, I will tell you. I will tell you. Stop. Will tell you. No, no, no. for time. Stop. The snake takes that as your answer. Yeah! Oh, no! No! Come on! Come on! Father to nobody! 
The Lord of the Duat awaits. Well done, my friend. Our hero returns. You brought joy to Siva. I should get to Alexandria. I need to see Aya. Don't be in too much of a hurry. Siwa will always need its magi. But you are the protector here now. I'm always pleased to help. Come see me when you are certain you are ready to go. We will drink beers to our friendship, huh? <laughs> Alright, so uh, we killed Maduna Moon uh, and we got a new quest, May a Moon Walk Beside You. Uh, let's check out the uh, new quest. <clears throat> Bayek is ready to continue his pursuit of the snake. Bayek is eager to reunite with Aya in, Alexand in Alexandria where she has been researching the other men responsible for their son's death. So um, we learned about uh, one other of the hidden ones, the snake, uh, who was responsible for letting Bayek uh, kill his son. Maduna Moon was installed as Oracle of Siwa by Ptolemy. He oversaw the Temple of Amun, but his true interest ap appeared to be the vault beneath the temple. He brutalized the villagers in an effort to learn the vault's secrets. Bayek killed him in a fury. Yeah, we didn't get any other information on the snake, but uh, we learned of his name at least. Uh, and we got a new quest item, the Oracle's Relic, a distinctive orb with curious inscriptions. This will come into play later, but we're getting ahead of ourselves. Um, I will stream for uh, a, a bit longer, but I will end this uh, part of the Let's Play. Uh, so, uh, we uh, in this Let's Play we um, cleared out a bit more of the... Uh, uh, locations in um, in and around Siwa, and we uh, killed our first target, Maduna Moon, and learned the uh, reason for uh, Bayek's revenge quest, which is the murder of his son by these um, masked ones. And I believe we can see another name scratched off the the uh, arm there, the Ibis, Maduna Moon. Alright, so this has been Let's Play Assassin's Creed Origins, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.